In the past few episodes, I've been showing you guys how to get your projects prepped, get your media prepared, uh, importing your media, getting everything prepped uh, to begin editing. We are going to be getting into editing in the future episodes here, but right now this is kind of the last of these prepping things, prepping your media for editing. Showed your proxies and um, and transcoding, and now I'm going to show you a feature in here that's kind of important to know about uh, that is called, if you go under Edit Preferences and go to Media, and this is, by the way, if you're on a Mac, this is found under, you're going to click on Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, and then, it will, then that will bring up a menu, and you can go down to Preferences from there, and it will bring you to the same window. So now we're we'll under Media tab here, and there is this option right here called Default Media Scaling. You have three options in here. You have None, Scale to Frame Size, Set to Frame Size. I usually have this check mark to Scale to Frame Size to start with, uh, just as part of my, by default this is on None, but I, I like that you pretty much always have it on Scale to Frame Size. And I'll explain what the difference is between those. So now that these files have been imported here, uh, I, I've, if I select these, I can go up to Clip, and I can go to video options and I notice that these things have the attribute of scale to frame size check marked on these uh, files here. Now what that does, uh, first of all I'm going to select the, one of these clips here. I'm going to look at resolution. This is 3840 by 2160. It's got 300, it's got 3840 uh, horizontal pixels and, 21, and 2160 vertical pixels in this. And that is called a resolution there. Uh, let me import some other footage here. I'm going to put this into a folder here. I'm going to drag those and put them in a folder and call this red. That's my red footage. I'm going to import a different type of footage here. I'm going to grab this 5D Mark III footage and import that folder. This footage is 1920 by 1080. Uh, so that's a different, this is half the, literally half the resolution as the red footage. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to delete all this. Let's start with none. I'm going to go to edit preferences and show you what happens if we don't have any of this check mark. I'm going to go to media and tell this to do none. And now let's import this footage. I'm going to go to media browser, import my red footage, select my footage and import, put that in my red folder there. Now I'm going to import my 5D Mark III footage and have that in a separate folder. Okay. So now that we see that these have now now that I've imported these, these do not have these do not have uh, that that option checkmarked. Notice it has scale to frame size. It's not checkmarked on this option at all here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's make a timeline. Well, I'm going to drag this over here, drag and drop media here to create sequence. That's going to make a timeline. And that timeline is going to be, here's my timeline. That timeline is 1920 by 1080. Let's drag that out of my folder. Just call this timeline or something like that. So now let's grab something. So this timeline is 1920 by 1080. If I grab some red footage and I drag and drop this down inside the timeline as well and drop it and I move my mouse over it, uh, what this is doing here is is actually scaling. Uh, this is 4K footage. It's so if I grab this footage and I go up to, and I have to go under uh, editing, the editing layout to kind of show this, and I select this footage and go up to the effects controls. I'm going to grab scale and scale this down. Look at this footage, I scale it down. It's zoomed up on this footage, and the reason why it's zoomed up is because this is twice the resolution. This is twice, twice the size as this previous clip. This is a 1920 by 1080 uh, timeline, so it is actually zooming my footage up to um, uh, on my red footage there, which usually is not want, it usually is something you don't want to do. So let's go back under assembly here. I'm going to uh, delete my footage here. I'm going to take all my footage out here. I'm going to keep my timeline. And I'm going to import my footage again. But this time I'm going to go to Preferences before I do it. And it will add this feature as I import it. Because I'm going to tell it as I import media, I want to say scale to frame size. And we'll talk about what the difference is between scale and set to frame size here in a minute. So Media Browser, I'm going to grab my red footage, import it. Uh, let's grab some more footage as well. Because I've got some other 4K footage here. I've got I'm going to import my drone footage as well. Right click and import. Uh, but now when I drop that, this is even larger footage. This is 40, 4096 by 2160. When I drop this into my timeline, it has that feature added. Notice there's nothing in the timeline right now. It's saying, hey, since there's nothing in the timeline, do you want to keep the existing settings of the timeline or do you want to change it to meet this resolution? I'm going to just say keep editing settings. I want a 1920, I want a 1920 by 1080 timeline. Now as I move my playhead over the footage, notice uh, this is a different aspect ratio, so it has added letterboxes on the top and bottom. Because this is, if I just click this video here, see this wireframe, that's the entire video signal right there. And it's just zoomed it, it's just zoomed it down basically to meet to meet the edges of this image here, because it has, once again I select this clip, go to clip, go to video options, and it has this 
feature checkmarked on that item there. Now, what this is doing is it is assuming when you, well, if that checkmarked and you're dropping in this timeline, it is assuming that this footage is 1920 by 1080, which means that it is actually going to process this footage and play it back a lot better because it thinks it's only playing half the pixels, literally about half the pixels of this footage here. So when I play this back, but this will help process the footage a lot better by check marking that and doing it in a smaller timeline. <clears throat> now one thing you're going to notice if you scaled, if you zoom up on something, if you have 4K footage in a 1920 by 1080 timeline, if it's assuming that this is 1920 by 1080 footage because of that check mark, when I zoom up on this, what it's going to do is it's going to degrade the quality of the footage a lot quicker if you start zooming up on it because it's not accessing the, the, uh, the 4K features of this file here. It thinks it's 1920 by 1080. If you want to maintain footage and be able to zoom up in your timeline, I'm going to delete all this footage. I'm going to go to, I'm going to, go to Edit, Preferences, Media, and we're going to tell it to do set to frame size. Set to frame size, it will still reference the 4K media. It will be a little choppier if you're on a slower system, but you are able, if you need to zoom up on a 4K file, it's going to maintain better resolution. It'll look, it'll look better. So let's go to import here. I'm going to grab my drone footage and import that. So now it is automatically, rather than being zoomed up on the file when I drop it in my timeline, since I have nothing in there, I'm going to say keep existing settings. And now when I play this back, it's going to be it's going to process a lot slower. Now it's a lot chuggier, you notice. It's a lot ch uh, chuggier. But if I select that file, I zoom up on it, it's going to maintain... I can see a, a big difference in the resolution there. It looks better. I'm going to be able to zoom this up almost by 200%, and it will still look really good in the 1920 by 1080 timeline, since this file is twice the resolution. So just something you got to be aware of if you're working in a smaller timeline and you want to be zooming. You probably want to have it set to frame size rather than scale to frame size. But if you're not going to be zooming much, if you have it scale to frame size, you're going to get better performance out of your edit. So let's say that we did not have that check marked. I'm going to grab my footage here, delete it. And so let's say we did not have that check marked. And let's say we did not have that selected when we imported the media. So I'm going to go to none. So it will not add that attribute to the footage to the footage that you import. And now I'm going to import the footage. Let's drag a file, drop it in, tell it to keep the existing settings since there's not since. And now as I drop that in, this is actually zoomed up on this. Let's go to editing, go to effect control, select my clip, and we're going to turn down the scale. And look at this as I turn down the scale. See, there's a big portion of this image that is not seeing because I did not have that check marked when I import it. And you say, oh crap, now what do I do since I didn't have that? And I don't want to, and you say you've already been doing a lot of editing, you don't want to have to go back and, and uh, re import this footage. You can actually select a range of footage like this, and you can go up to clip, go to video options and set this a uh, scale to frame size and now when you drag and drop it in it will keep it at that frame size and scale it down to fit within your 1920 by 1080 timeline and it will also do this in reverse as well if you're working in a 4k timeline and you have 1920 by 1080 uh, footage it will zoom it up rather than zoom it down it'll, it'll uh, upscale it to fit the constraints of what you're wor of whatever resolution you're working within within your timeline. So just a couple options there. Like I mentioned, I usually like this. My preferences. I usually like this on. I usually like this on scale to frame size f for most settings when I'm importing footage. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post them, and we'll see you in the next episode.